Hey guys, it's John Rubli Custom Rods, and welcome back um, to another edition of the Truth About Hintna Metallic uh, Zebra Stripe um, ST Wrap Metallic Thread. Um, and today's color, um, as you can see here, this is called Blue One back here in the back. So um, this is the second to last color um, in that color scheme. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out and then we'll have one more after that and this entire series will be complete. Um, so um, if you're interested in purchasing these uh, threads, the links to the products are down um, in the video description. Um, I do know um, that they uh, have been out of this, um, this specific type of thread and I'm working to try to find out when they're gonna have more of that thread in there, um, but I will put the link there um, and you can see it um, if it's there um, and hopefully once it is um, in stock I will update the link in these videos um, so you guys can be able to get uh, pick up this thread if you like it so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so again this is the um, color code blue one just adjusting my tension arm a little bit there And we'll just go ahead and start turning. There we go. All right. Pull, get a little tug. We'll cut this uh, working end off here. And then we'll just start turning this rod to see how, see how this comes out. I suspect it's gonna be a lot of silvers and blues, but um, I'm okay with that. I do kind of like those colors. Um, let's see. All right, so it's like, it's like a little silver with a, a little brown maybe, or a little, dark gray and then you get the blue silver and then you get silver with a little blue and then you get this brown or gray silver ah and then there's this there's that light blue oh I like this color yeah then you get that real light blue in there um, I'm sure you guys can see that so right here is that light blue color. So, and then went silver again, and it's gonna go to that darker blue. All right. So of course, well, let me go a little bit more. So let me know what you guys think so far uh, down in the comments block about this color. If you like it, again, this is ZS Blue 1. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, you know, that way we can help, uh, you know, get the algorithm to pick it up and share it with other people that have the same interests as you guys. Um, and um, whether you enjoy this content or not, let me know down in the comments block what you like or don't like about the videos. Um, and whatever you like about the videos, I'll do my best to, to continue to make that type of content. And whatever you don't like about the videos, um, I will do my best to try to fix that. So I think that's probably far enough we've got. Let me just go a little bit further. I'll get a couple of these close darker blues in here. That way I've got the three light blues. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. So, um, 
of course, of course, any kind of blue. This is just regular. This is code 4455. Uh, four, five. This is regular nylon thread wrap. So, of course, that blue would look beautiful with that. Um, and, of course, this nylon thread is going to darken up once you have some finish on it, unless you use something like a color preserver. Um, just to be a little creative, let's go with... Uh, this is a color fast thread. This is color code 819. Color fast by Pro Wrap. A little gray on top of that. That would look good. Uh, just got to be good. You got to be good at your wraps on your over wraps with this because again, it's a color fast and it's a lighter color. So you will definitely see each individual thread if you cross over one of your threads. Um, let's try. Let's try, so here we have 404. Again, this is a nylon thread. That looks really good with that. That'll darken up just a tiny bit, but that looks really good with that. I like that one. And then if we tried the 404 in color fast, so this is the same 404, but it's in color fast. So it's a bit different. So, you know, if I put those two colors together, the bottom one is nylon. This top one is the color fast. So you can see a little bit of the difference there. Um, that's 404. Let's try, let's try 434. That's, so we'll try, this is 434, regular nylon thread. And then this is 434 in the color fast. So those are good colors as well. And you can see the difference, um, if you give me one moment, you'll be able to see the difference in those um, down here. So these are uh, the 404 here at the top. These two are the 404. And then these two on the far left are the 434. So you can see the difference in those blues. Um, and then just to be you know, creative again. What if we tried code, color code 601 for a color fast with a lavender on top of that? Uh, I really like that because that, that brings out some of that color in the silver here. Um, so I dig it. Uh, I like that one on top of there. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Um, and maybe Maybe, maybe, of course, this would always work. This will always work, guys, if you go with a white on top of that. Um, I'm just trying to look. What if we did the yellow? That's the uh, 101. That's color fast, though. If you're in the yellows, that would probably be, probably be okay. Um, and then... I just feel like I want to look at a couple more here. Um, this is color code 543, regular nylon thread. A green with that. Green and blues always go well together, of course. Um, so that, that would probably work pretty good. So again, you can just be creative. Oh, and I'll go back. I'm sorry with that gray. This is the, um, this is the regular nylon. This is size D thread though, but 819. This is regular nylon gray. Um, so not color fast, so this regular nylon. Um, so that's pretty that's pretty good. I like that one, that match up there as well. So you can, you know, you can be creative as you want, man, and, and try different things. And it's whatever colors uh, that you know that you decide that you that you like uh, when it comes to this stuff. That's that's what really interests me about uh, about you know building fishing rods is you can be creative as you want to be. Um, there's uh, you know, I, I like to say sometimes there's no rules, and there, and for the most part there isn't. But of course there is when you're trying to build components and do things, uh, put components together. There's certain things that you want to do, but you can be as creative um, as you want to be, um, and just try different things, man. And and what's the worst thing? Like when you're doing a thread wrap, what's the worst thing if you don't like it? You just cut it off, and you know it it'll be all right. And you start over and and try with a different wrap. So let's go ahead and tie this one off really quick. Let's 
So I like that. Right, I got to keep that in mind. Really like that with that lavender one. All right, and then we'll burnish that in or pack that thread a little bit. All right, grab the razor blade. And then, so let's try uh, this on the dragon scale. Oops, got that twisted up a little bit. So we're gonna try this on the dragon scale. I suspect this will look pretty good. All right, I'm gonna cut that running in. Just pack these threads a little bit, get a good start. All right, and I'm gonna go pretty quick here. Loosen up the tension rod. All right, so we stop right there. We can take a look and see how this is coming out so far. Okay, so we'll keep turning this. And again, I'm, I'm just going quick for the most part, guys, for the sake of time. <clears throat> and I think this is gonna come out pretty nice. I can't, I'm thinking to myself, I keep thinking about that lavender color um, with that, that uh, with this, with this uh, ZS Blue 1 by Hetna Zebra Stripe Metallic Thread. I, I really liked that color. I like the gray too, the, the dark gray, the regular nylon. Um, it was this one here, um, 819, color code 819. This one here, I really like this one with that as well because that will darken up a bit. It also gets a little bit trans, translucent, uh, meaning um, once you put your finish on there, you know, if you have your guide underneath it, um, you'll be able to see through the thread a little bit. Uh, even though it seems like it's a dark thread, once your finish goes on it, it'll make it uh, a little translucent. All right. All right, so again, just trying to go pretty quick here for the sake of time. Keep going. And then while I'm doing this, hey, if, you know, I've been uh, trying to do better um, at uh, posting some membership videos. So if you are a channel member, there are some videos uh, in the membership tab or the members the members only community tab if you will um and if you don't know what channel membership is um let me explain it to you really quick so channel membership um is totally different than being a subscriber to a channel you know you subscribe to a channel you turn on notifications uh you know you're notified every time that person's channel or that channel releases new content you're notified and you watch it and you just kind of keep up to date, right? You see what they've got going on in their community tab and you kind of stay abreast of whatever that channel is doing. Um, where membership is different and uh, the link to membership is down um, in the uh, details tab down below. But the way um, the membership link works on a YouTube channel, on any YouTube channel, um, is if, if they have membership turned on, um, they can create, you know, one, two, three, four, five um, different levels of membership. And then it allows you to subscribe. You know, you have to pay and subscribe whatever that whatever the rate is. Those people uh, have determined they want to charge for that level of membership. 
and then whatever perks they decide they want to give for that level of membership. Um, so I have um, three levels. I have member, elite member, and super fan, and then each um, you know perk builds on the other one. So members, there's you know there's some perks for membership shout out um, that kind of stuff, um, and you know shouts out or whatever. Um, and then I've also have some emojis in there, um, you know, priority answering the comments and then the next, you know, elite member, it builds on that and has different things. And then of course the super fan, um, has different stuff. So, um, if you've seen me commenting, uh, you know, the last few days about, you know, new videos posted in the members tab, um, that's what I'm referring to. Um, and again, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, um, that'd be awesome. I've only been doing it for about a year. Um, and, you know, you can jump over there and take a look at it. Uh, you can click the link below um, and check out the memberships. It doesn't it doesn't commit you to signing up or paying for anything, but you can take a look at that um, down below. So, all right. So we're cruising right along. We're getting it down here towards the end. Getting down here towards the end. Bear with me, guys. Again, I'm just cruising here. Make it look a little bit neater, but... All right. And we'll just tie that off. thread a little bit, cut that running end off, that working end. All right. And then that's it. So if we compare a little bit here, here's just the standard wrap with that thread. Um, again, this is the ZS Blue 1, as in number one, um, from Hetna. Uh, it's got some great colors in there. And then when we, and, and I like this, I definitely would use this as an underwrap. I would even use this probably as a standalone wrap, but I think I, what I would do is I would fade another color in here with this, uh, either on the front and back end or in the middle on a wrap with this as the primary wrap. I, I think I'd probably fade another color in there, but just, just my two cents. Um, and then you come here to the dragon scale wrap. Um, and so this looks really good. I think you can really see the dragon scale below it. Um, great colors. I, I think this is, I think this is pretty good looking here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments block, man. And make sure you guys uh, hit the like button. Um, as always, uh, I appreciate, um, your guys' continued support. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to watch this next video here. Oh yeah. And make sure again, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. All right, guys. Until next time, guys. Take care. Bye.